Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lexi and I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys today. It's a pretty big one, um, lots of Christmas stuff, wrapping paper, stocking stuffers, so I'm excited. I've been waiting to film this video since before Thanksgiving. So I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving and you are all doing well right now. Um, so yeah, I've been waiting for over a week to film this video now. It's almost December. Crazy. Uh, so lots of lots of Christmas stuff like I said so let's get into it um, I ended up going to Dollar Tree yesterday and today uh, with my mother-in-law so got even more stuff to share with you guys so it's a pretty big haul so sit down relax grab yourself a drink maybe or whatever you're doing watching this video um, first thing in my hand here is this hand soap from Dollar Tree so if you can see it's Arm & Hammer brand in the scent gentle rose water the scent is not gentle, it is very strong rose. So if you do not like rose, you will not like this. Um, it's a little strong for me. It kind of smells like my shampoo. Um, I'm using a Pantene rose water one right now, not my favorite. Um, maybe I'll do an empties video and talk about it, but spoiler alert, not my favorite. Um, but it's a good brand. It does smell good in like hand soap, it's just a lot for shampoo and a I also had a hair mask in that primrose scent so definitely a strong scent if you do not like scent stay away but you get 12 fluid ounces of Arm, Arm & Hammer name brand soap for $1.25 now I do not usually get hand soap from Dollar Tree because it's not always the best it's like watered down or stuff and I'm used to Bath & Body Works I get theirs all the time so I do have a Bath & Body Works haul coming up. I was actually going to do it in this video and then like I said, went back to Dollar Tree, got more stuff to add to the haul. So we're just doing one big Dollar Tree haul and I'll do a Bath & Body Works one separately later. Okay, we got a good bag here. So this, I found this all-purpose spray cleaner um, yesterday. You get 16 fluid ounces. Look at this gorgeous black container. It's in the scent Peppermint Sage. I didn't even smell it in the store. I think I smelled this before and actually didn't get it when I saw it last time. It's pretty strong peppermint, but I feel like it'll be good for the holidays. Um, cause I like, I do like peppermint scent. I do like strong scents, so I don't think it will bother me that much and maybe it will make my house smell good like peppermint. So there's that. I don't, it doesn't have a brand, but it does say with plant derived ingredients. I guess all, it just says all purpose, all purpose cleaner. So I guess all purpose is the brand it looks like. Cuts tough grease and grime with a pleasant peppermint scent. Good for use on glass, counters, tile, wood, and stone. All right, so ready to give that a try. Um, I went the other day for a baby bottle one of the things I needed um, so I got one because the Dollar Tree ones happen to like work well for my son's cereal because the holes are bigger anyway so they only had these big eight or I guess nine ounce ones um, the one he has right now is four ounces so this is the big bottle um, so yeah I just got that one I thought the Mickey was cute and they are BPA free, yeah it does say that, medium flow silicone nipple, so 9 ounce bottles from Dollar Tree, so they work. They're not his favorite bottles, but like I said, they work well for the cereal that we add to it sometimes. Make sure that bag is empty. Alright, and then the few things left we have are these bath bombs. The few things left in this bag, I should say. I got sugared vanilla bath bombs, so this is the one that you get four of them in here, but they're the smaller ones. They also had the sugared vanilla, but they were two like medium sized bath bombs in a bag. I just liked the packaging better, and it will probably go in my stocking, so I went with the one I liked better. The only thing about these small ones is they're a little bit hard to unwrap sometimes, so I almost got the bigger ones, but I went for the packaging. I liked the flowers, but they were both sugared vanilla scented. And then they also had a toasted sh uh, champagne toast scent as well. So, stocking up on stocking stuffers, mostly for myself, because 
I only fill up mine and my husband's stockings and he's not going to want these. Um, so this is by Be Pure. It's a face mask gift set. So you get two individual face masks in here and they are both holiday themed. So you get a vanilla latte and a peppermint sheet mask. So it doesn't really say what both of them are supposed to do. Like if it does anything special for your skin or if it's scented or anything. I don't know. Um, but maybe it's just cute packaging. So that'll probably go in my stocking. Um, and then of course I had to get more baby socks while I was at Dollar Tree. They, I found new ones so I grabbed them. Um, but I did get the 2 to 4T size. Jax is outgrowing the newborn size they have at Dollar Tree so I gotta stop getting those newborn socks even though they're adorable. Um, he's outgrowing them because he is almost six months old. He's going to be six months old tomorrow. So these will fit him soon enough. I can probably put them on him now, honestly. They're just socks. So that got these little monsters with the star grippies. These have the star grippies as well, but they're like trucks and construction vehicles. And I liked the colors gray and maroon and yellow. I feel like you can't see the trucks very well, but they're cute. So new socks in the baby section. There's another stocking stuffer. They always have these around the holidays. I feel like they might have these all year round. Um, I'm not sure, but they're the Godiva milk chocolate with caramel. Uh, these are my favorite, and this one's broken, but it's just probably going in my stocking or my husband's, so it doesn't really matter that it's broken. It's not melted or anything. Um, it just fell. Okay. Sorry, I shook the camera. Um, so yeah, great caramel chocolate for stocking stuffers. I also got these Sour Patch Kids, which I accidentally stepped on while they were in the bag on the floor, but it's fine. It's just for my husband. Uh, yeah, they're Sour Patch Kids, so they'll be fine. They're red and green ones. They're, I don't know what flavor these are. Are Sour Patch Kids different flavors? I really don't eat them. Um, because I don't like sour candy, but there's a little to and from on there. So this was in the Christmas candy section. About three servings, it says on there. That's right. Three servings per container. Okay, let's grab another bag. Uh, this one looks like a food bag. It's heavy. We'll get it out of the way. Got some more of my milk. Got a couple of these. Just the whole milk is the one that we like. We use it for everything all the time. It's great to have on hand. And then you just, after you open it, you put it in the fridge, obviously. Um, got some more of this tomato sauce. Um, it's actually the garlic and herb pasta sauce that I use, not for like spaghetti, but for like baking casserole, but like for a pizza dish. Uh, I got another one of these caramels. I haven't actually tried the other one yet, but they don't expire for a while. It's got a seal on it. Um, but yeah, I just really like this, even though I haven't tried it, if that makes sense. Um, it looks like the kind of caramel that I would enjoy. Like it's real caramel, not caramel flavored. It says artificially flavored, but anyways, it's not low sugar, which I was excited about so I got another one of those caramels and then I've never gotten these before and I don't know if they're new or not they're and I'm not gonna be able to say it right the instant bouillon cubes chicken flavor don't tell me if I said it right or not I don't care um, they're 3.25 ounces so 25 servings per container so 25 cubes they're kind of cute like they're like wrapped in gold. I don't know if that's how they normally come. I've never bought these before. Um, I don't know why. I just felt like I needed them. Um, we usually make chicken noodle soup for Christmas Eve. And I don't know if I'm making it this year. I've never made it before. But I feel like I could use these in it. We'll see. So, yes. I grabbed those last minute kind of. I got some more of these large 16 ounce cans 
by the checkout in the coolers. Okay, these I just picked up today. Oh, all right, some fun stuff in this bag, even though it's a few things. Um, I got some gift boxes, so these are like the clothing, like the thin style gift boxes. So you get two in here. This is like the medium sized one. They have different sizes of these. So I don't know actually how big it is, but they had one bigger than this and they had one smaller than this. So it's the medium sized one. And this side says Seasons Greetings and you get two of them. So this is the one on the other side. It's Christmas, Farm Fresh Christmas Trees Cut and Carry. So these will go really well with my Christmas decor, which I have my Christmas decor up already. Um, we're almost in December, we're at the end of no end of November. Um, I didn't film it or anything. I have filmed Christmas decorate with me in the past, so you can go check out uh, my Christmas, I believe, 2021 playlist is when I filmed that and put it up. It hasn't really changed much, so I haven't given an updated decor video ever. I've you know hauled a few ornaments here and there from Dollar Tree but that's basically it um, nothing's changed I lost my table runner don't know where that went um, but otherwise yeah check out my 2021 Christmas playlist if you want to see my Christmas decor but black and white checkered and red is basically it so that'll go well I did get some clothes um, for people especially I got some baby clothes too I'll probably wrap underneath the tree um, I got another one of these Christmas activity books. They have a whole, uh, end cap of them. So last time I got the elf, like, Mr. Potato Head, you know, create the elf face on it with the stickers. And then this is just a coloring and activity book, but it's all Star Wars themed. And so it's got, like, Kylo Ren there and Chewbacca, the Stormtrooper. Um, just a bunch of different activities in here. It's not just coloring pages. It's actually a lot of puzzles and word searches as well as um, coloring pages. So I'll probably do this myself. I could give it to like basically anyone I know, but I don't know. I kind of want to do this. So there's that. Maybe I'll wrap it for myself for Christmas. I don't know. It doesn't really fit in a stocking is the only thing. So maybe I'll wrap it with something else I ended up looking through the stickers again so I think my last Dollar Tree haul I had planner stickers in there um, I went back and got these ones today so I didn't get them before because they're like teacher stickers so they're all about school but I did like the colors and so there's still some I can use now or like I said in my last video if you have kids in school and like using planner stickers this is also great for that it doesn't all have to be for teachers it's got like spring break on there but it's also like grade papers quizzes or if you are in school and use planners um, I would have loved this when I was in high school and had a planner um, so yeah check out Dollar Tree for these that's 300 count stickers and they're different on each side love the colors so Here's that, and then the last thing in this bag is this card. Again, I just randomly bought today. It's got a little candy cane on the back. I'm not sure if you can even see it, because it's got packaging around it. It's the homemade cards, so they are, I believe those ones are $1.25 still, but I, I don't know why I loved this. I do know why. I love pink, and I don't use pink in my Christmas decor, but I kind of want to, but I would have to get, like, all new Christmas stuff or like just all pink all new pink stuff you know um and they don't really have it at Dollar Tree I don't know where to even start with that but anyways I do love the pink sparkles it's very pretty in person it's hard to tell on camera especially my camera but it says Merry Christmas to you on the little stocking and I love it and I'll probably just use it for junk journaling or maybe display it on um like my table downstairs or on my refrigerator or something because I just think it's that pretty it says I hope you know how much joy you bring to my life Merry Christmas so if you do Christmas cards it's a cute one if you do junk journaling check out these cards 
Anyways, I'm literally going to use it for decor. <laughs> Okay, here's another bag. This was a big one. It had wrapping paper in it, which we'll probably get to the wrapping paper next. Um, just because it's the biggest stuff I have. So I got some more tissue paper in a different pattern. It's got the brown plaid and the words. Enjoy, Noel, Merry Christmas. What, all the words. And then red and green. And there's also six white in here. So it's four print, four solid, and six white. So it was a 14 total. The packaging is kind of weird. So I hope you can see it. Really love that plaid. Oops. Yeah, it's like sliding out of the packaging. It's very hard to hold. Alright, and then I got some more tags. You get 60 pieces in here. So this is what they look like. I wasn't in love with a lot of the tags. They had like books of stickers so it's like over a hundred in those. I didn't really like any of them. They were very vintage traditional stickers. I just didn't like them. So got these and I think it's just the two sheets maybe. Um, I don't love every single one but again like I like personalizing gift wrap for the people I'm giving it to so I know like some people will like them and I'll just give them to those people so I don't have to like all of them you know um, I really love this this is an apron that says cookie tester Can you see that apron is adorable um, the cup that says have a cup of cheer and it's pink again it's just a thing this year um, this bike on the front, it's like one of the reasons I got it as well. The bike with presents on it, so there's a lot of animals. So those are some of my favorites. And then this mushroom that says Happy Holidays is also very cool. I've never seen a mushroom in, like, holiday decor, so they're actually very cute stickers. Um, not my favorite, but pretty good. Um, then this was by the checkout aisle. They had this in pink and blue as well, but I just got the green for Christmas. I don't know. I thought it was festive. I got it for my husband. Um, we'll see if it actually works. It's USB charge, I guess, or operated. So that's nice. You don't need batteries for it. I actually kind of like that. Um, I have no idea if it works. It will probably be going in my husband's stocking. It's kind of open. Dare I take it out of the packaging. I don't want to like mess it up but this is what it looks like so and it's got the USB cord in there so it's attached. I'm guessing you just plug it into your computer and then use it since it's for keyboards or that's what it shows on the cover. I'm guessing you can use it for other stuff but mainly for keyboards so husband's stocking stuffer hopefully it works but that's a great find because he wanted a mini vacuum anyways and it's a dollar twenty five and then um, still looking for stockings that I like for well for all of us I should probably get this for all of us I only got one um, I had just haven't decided what stocking I want for all of us I have some from Dollar General for my husband and I I don't have one for our baby yet um, so we'll see. I want to get a nice one, but I just can't find a stocking. I do like this one. Again, it's just got the felt backing, so it's not like the best quality. Um, the ones we have are the same way, so that's the only reason I haven't gotten like all Dollar Tree stockings. Because I'm still looking for like real stockings, you know? Nicer ones. Okay. As promised, I'm going to go through the wrapping paper. Here's the drink break. It is still such a mess in here. It's so hard to get to this chair right now because they have not fixed the hole in the wall yet. Um, they're supposed to come over tomorrow and fix that. So hopefully that happens. Here. Guys, I lost something. Okay, I found it. As I was just saying, the room's a mess. Um, 
I was just talking to talk about these snapper or snaps whatever they're jalapeno poppers we get these all the time I just bought two today um, and I have to remember to put these away so <laughs> last time I showed you guys something frozen and forgot to put it away overnight it was fine but you know should probably put this away in the freezer anyways so you get five ounces in here so it's usually like eight poppers and we love these especially just for two people it's perfect for a dollar 25 it's not a bonus item it's a dollar 25 um yeah so pick these up from the frozen section if you like jalapeno poppers they're great okay as promised now wrapping paper I got two of these. Um, I got one last week or whenever I went to Dollar Tree last. It's been like a week and a half. And then I went two days in a row. So um, I got another one today. But they are the, and I think I've hauled this before. I know I've gotten it before, but I really like it. It says from Santa, um, just all around. I think that's all it says is from Santa and then sorry my nose itches it says do not open until december 25th north pole Espre express delivery on that little stamp there so just the red and white goes really well with my decor too so that's why i got another one of those that'll go underneath my christmas tree um and then this one i've talked about before but i finally got it is more for like any guys in your life i feel like it's can be masculine I could also put it under my tree if it matched but it doesn't match my tree um but I'll probably give it to like a dad father-in-law you know stuff like that whoever in your life who would like this and it's just black and gold but it's just really classy I don't know um you only get 15 square feet of this I think it's because um it's metallicized it's got like gold metallic stuff on it so 15 square feet is not a lot these are 40 square feet at least um so pay attention because dollar tree has different square footage and all their wrapping paper and i don't even know if this is gridded on the inside oh it is both of them are so that's nice at, le at least i guess um and then i got this i would call it vintage style one um, with Santa and the sleigh. Santa's got the long list there that he's looking at and just the classic sleigh with well actually it doesn't have presents in it but it's got a Christmas tree um, and it's just like a wintry scene. So again this will go well I think underneath my Christmas tree. I'm just trying to turn it slowly so you can see everything but it's just Santa and the sleigh in his list that he's checking um okay i got these yesterday or today i don't i don't even know anymore um they packaged it so well they put it in a big bag which they didn't have last time i was there um and they put a rubber band around it so ask for a rubber band when you're buying wrapping paper because this was actually so nice to carry out of the store especially with a baby um yeah that's all um I just realized that this says printed and assembled in USA. This one. Not all of them. Um, and you get 37 and a half square feet with this one. Um, and it's gridded on the inside. And it just has, I love the stamps and like mail postage, you know, stickers or stamps or whatever. This says happy holidays, do not open until Christmas, North Pole Express have a very merry christmas just stuff like that um and i'll just spin it a few times so you can see i think this will look cute underneath my tree and i just love like i said like the male style stamps and stuff happy holidays december 25th very cute um but yeah that one says printed and assembled in usa it's got a little um flag on there you can see one of them I almost got I have enough wrapping paper so I don't know maybe if it's still there next time I'll go back and get it but it had a barn and like a truck or something I don't remember 
what exactly but it was like white and red and green and it had the u.s flag on it like it was a barn with a flag like flying on the wrapping paper and that was also really cool i thought i've never seen a flag on wrapping paper before um and then i found this plaid which i've never seen before at dollar tree and i really love it um, and I don't have this plaid on like anything in my house, but I want a blanket in this pattern. We'll see. I put it on my Christmas list. Um, but it's like the white background with green and red. It's hard to tell, but this dark color is green. Um, and it's just the three colors in there. So I got two of them, obviously, because I liked it so much. And you get 40 square feet in here. And again, it's gridded on the inside so you can cut it easier love this I almost bought a third one today when I went back um, and I stopped myself but I got this instead um, so that's all the wrapping paper I got in the past couple of, couple of weeks we'll see if I get more I haven't started wrapping presents yet um, so yeah we'll see how much of this I use but I love love the plaid so I'm going to be definitely using that underneath the tree this year and then this is probably just gonna stay here because there's so much you might be able to see that in the frame I don't know so much talk about wrapping paper okay okay I got some ornaments and a mini tree collar here it's not a tree scare a tree collar I couldn't remember the name of it before um, I got the silver one they also had a red one that said Merry Christmas which was also cute but this just kind of matched my tree better I feel like the other one like this was almost sold out and they had a ton of the other one so if you can get your hands on this I prefer this one uh, it says farm fresh Christmas trees if you can't read it with my light reflecting on there but the galvanized metal is definitely a win and I put up two um, mini trees from Dollar Tree this year actually so that I already had I just put them up and I had no tree skirts for them one of them I wrapped a stocking around and I did like the look of that because it was like a green stocking and it was pretty but I didn't have any actual like collars to put around them so or tree skirts so I was really excited to find that yesterday um, and then I started using this red and black plaid again this year I didn't use it last year but I did not have any of these ornaments they had different shapes but I only got to the Christmas tree so it's got the burlap on the edges and it looks stuffed but it's actually like solid like hard um, I don't know what it's made out of I can see through it but it's not stuffed even though it looks like it I think these look really nice like for how much they actually are they look more high-end so I'll add that to my tree and then I also got these bows in that pattern um, and I have a garland downstairs that I'd like to add these to but I could also put them on my tree um, never know maybe in the future I'll do that and you get six of them in here um, they're smaller than normal but I mean for six it's a pretty decent amount um, and then I got this one that says Noel and I was sure well I wasn't sure but I thought I didn't have it but I actually already do have this one and it's not really one that I want two of so I don't know maybe I'll go back and exchange it for a different one maybe I'll get one of these in a different shape or something but um sorry I had uh, someone help me with decorating my Christmas tree this year so it was already on my tree and I just didn't even realize it I forgot I owned it because I did not use it last year um, but it's still a cute ornament so you can check out uh, this one that says Noel and then they have a black and white one that says snow and I think that's the only style they have in this so it's still cute I just already had one and don't really need two of that style on my tree you know okay we got more we're half an hour in and we got more so my jaw is starting to hurt from actually talking so much anyone else um i got these at the checkout to put 
in my husband's stocking. Um, I did also get an advent calendar this year, which I showed in my last um, video, an Aldi and Christmas haul. So go check that out. I got a bunch of Christmas stuff from different stores besides just Dollar Tree. So that was kind of a bonus video. Anyways, as I was saying, we ha we got an advent calendar, but the stockings are so small, I don't know what I'm going to put in there besides like just candy, which is the obvious choice because you got one every day of December and tomorrow's December 1st, so I actually want to start setting that up. Um, but I totally forgot about it when I was at Dollar Tree, so I got some candy I can probably put in it for the first few days and then I can pick up some more stuff before the end of the year um, or the end of the month which is also the end of the year. Anyways, I don't know what I'm going to put in it. All I was saying is this is for the stocking, but some stuff I can put in the advent calendar, but this will not fit because it's too big. Um, but you get three ounces in here, and this is for my husband. Let me make sure this not is not expired. I remember working at Dollar Tree, and like this stuff would always be expired because they didn't want to rotate them and put the the newer ones in the back and move the old ones up front so the ones in back would always be expired so anyways this one's good till May 2024 so not terrible I'm sure they'll be eaten before May again for stockings this is a big container this is six ounces whereas the Sour Patch Kids were three so this is like thicker um, nicer packaging I guess they are the dots and they are the black so they're blackberry and black cherry assorted gummies. So they're supposed to be like coal. So they're like a dark black and a dark red. I thought they were going to be like licorice flavored for a second. And I got worried because I'm like that's gross. Um, it says Tootsie on there. Like I wonder if they're like. Is Dots and Tootsie like the same brand? I have no idea. I wonder if they like partnered with Tootsie or something if they taste like that but I don't think blackberry and black cherry are Tootsie flavored those are chocolate right but it's still really cute for Christmas they're supposed to be lumps of coal and then it says another year another lump of coal and it's got Santa Claus on the back that says naughty or nice so again my husband likes the like gummy type candy I do not so this will go in his stocking with the Sour Patch Kids um, this I hauled in my last Dollar Tree haul, I believe, and I got another one. Um, I have this pink one, the mauve, right in front of me here, whatever that was called. Um, but I got another one of the mocha. The other one I have in my purse right now, I really like it. It smells like chocolate. Um, and it's just like a nice light color. I'm not going to try it out again. I'll probably put this one in my stocking. I just wanted to get... A backup of it because I really liked it and please ignore my nails I still have orange from last week but most of them have come off so just ignore them um, but yeah definitely look out for these lipsticks they also had a red one I just didn't get the red one because it's kind of like a tinted shade and I don't want like a red tint if I'm using red I'm using like opaque red you know oh sorry shaking the camera I was grabbing for this lipstick which I've worn in previous videos um, but this is a really good red opaque lipstick that I like by NYX in um, 11 kitten heels the liquid suede lipstick so if you like like liquid red lipsticks real lipstick check out that um, if you want just like a tint of red these are really nice too from Dollar Tree Okay, more stocking stuff. Again, I think this is even too big for the little advent calendars I got. They're um, stockings from Aldi, like this big. I got their rubber bands on my wrist from the wrapping paper. Yeah, I can put that back on. Anyways, they had these in dark and milk chocolate. The pink one is milk and the yellow one is dark. So I just got the milk chocolate for myself. I didn't tell you what they are, so if you can't read that packaging it says espresso beans and that they're by Coper's chocolate you get two ounces in here I love again the pink packaging gets me and I love espresso beans I should probably try these and if I like them I'll stock up 
um, and then put more in my stocking for later. But these are so expensive. Like I've gotten them from Starbucks is the only other place and they actually have dark chocolate ones. So I should have gotten the dark chocolate because they go well with the espresso. But um, I guess we'll try the milk chocolate and whichever one I like I'll stock up because like I said these are expensive when you get them from Starbucks at least and I've never seen them anywhere else so brand new at Dollar Tree get them for anyone who loves coffee in your life it'd be a great stocking stuffer and then they had this in the baking section by the brand Wilton um, I got the last red one and they had a bunch of green they are color like food color spray to like mist on it shows cupcakes on here but whatever you're making for um, Christmas this year I guess I've seen people spray this on like popcorn and like I don't know if that'll work I'm just thinking of what I would do with this so red and green great for if you're having people over for Christmas or bringing something for Christmas for baked goods it's 1.5 ounces here so I'm just stocking up on these I have food coloring but this will be I'm assuming easier than like mixing food coloring with frosting you just spray it on we got more bags oh yes we do I'm only dying a little bit let me know if you guys have decorated for Christmas yet because I feel like by the time this video is up um, it'll be December so I feel like most people have already but if you're like a last minute person I guess you wouldn't have um, and also let me know if you do want to see anything on my Christmas decor but I've already set it up so it won't be like a Christmas decorate with me as much as like a here's my Christmas decor thing um, if you're interested just let me know um, so these masks were, I think, again, I think on an end cap somewhere. Um, there's two steps. So one is a cleanser and then a serum. Oh, sorry, three steps. So cleanser, serum, and then mask. Yeah, sheet mask. Um, it's got peaches on it. So I think it's peach scented. I'm assuming it doesn't really say. It just says vitamin C and E three step facial kit and half of it's in French. Radiant and refreshing to cleanse skin of oil, rich and hydrating serum, um, and then just a sheet mask. So I'm guessing it's peach scented. It's very pretty packaging. Yeah, you leave the sheet mask on for 10 to 20 minutes and do not rinse. So again, this will probably go in my stocking. I'm just stocking up uh, for my stocking. Um, Alright, this is one of the things I got before Thanksgiving. I actually got two of them and used one for cupcakes for Thanksgiving. Um, but it's the orange Funfetti, so like the Halloween Funfetti that they had at Dollar Tree. It's the full size of the Pillsbury um, icing, vanilla frosting. So it's just vanilla flavored. People thought it was pumpkin because it was orange, but it was still worked great for um, Thanksgiving, even though it wasn't pumpkin. It's vanilla flavoring, which is great. I don't really like pumpkin. I did not use the sprinkles, but it's really great that they have it. Anyways, if you can still find these from Halloween, full size frosting at Dollar Tree is a great deal because they usually only have like the mini, like the half this size. So I got two of those and already used one. Um, and then I finally tried, well, I haven't tried these. I finally bought these sparkling waters. I already put the other three in the fridge. Um, this is kind of cold, so I could try this, but I have a Coke open already. So I'm just going to show you that I hauled it. It was a four pack. Like I said, the other three are in the fridge already. I just wanted one um, to show you guys because like I've said, it's been in here in a bag for a week and a half. Um, the pure sparkle, I just got the lemon lime flavored sparkling water. So I know it's not, um, sweetened at all. It's just flavored water. Okay, this was some of the candy that I got that I was talking about. 
Um, this could work for a stocking. It's a bit big. Uh, maybe I'll put it in mine because I don't like the gummy stuff, so I'll put chocolate in mine. It's 2.75 ounces of the Flips milk chocolate pretzels. Uh, we love these. I usually put them downstairs with like the popcorn if you want to watch a movie. Um, it'd be great if you want to watch a Christmas movies and have hot chocolate and popcorn and all the snacks. This will be great for stocking up on stuff like that. And then I got these mini Twix. So the like fun size Twix or I think mini is even smaller than the fun size. But it's 2.43 ounces. About three two and a half servings so three servings per container so like six or seven pieces in here um these i can put in the advent calendar sorry you can hear my notifications on here um but these will be small enough to put in the little stockings for our advent calendar so i can at least add that i got it for i mean i think i got it for stocking stuffers but it will work great for advent calendar stuff instead I think this is the last Dollar Tree bag. Well, I hope so, because we're 40 minutes in now. Um, my last one was over 50 minutes, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe we'll beat that record. I hope not. I am trying to go through it fast for you guys. Um, I got a metal wreath hanger. I realized today that I have one green wreath hanger for my front door, and if I want to hang any other wreaths than that, I don't have any... Christmas wreath holders. I just got some really cute fall and Halloween wreath holders this year. Like they're new, um, you know, themed wreath holders. But they don't have any Christmas ones, at least not yet. I hope they still come out with like decorative ones, but for now I just got a plain red wreath holder. Um, and they're a bit longer than the decorative ones too. So. It was by the Christmas house line with the Christmas stuff. It just had red and green, I believe. So no decorative ones yet. We're still waiting. Um, but they had them for Halloween. So you know they can do it. Just waiting. And then, like I said, I put out mini Christmas trees this year. Um, and I wanted a few more ornaments to put on it. I had lots of white and silver ornaments. So I put those on there. Some navy ones doesn't really match anything I have out right now um, so I wanted red ones and these are the matte so they're all the same and you get 16 of them in here they're the like mini mini ones so they look really cute on the little Dollar Tree trees and yeah I just really like the matte red because um, I didn't have any like mini red ornaments so I got that and then I did get a tree skirt when I went back today so I put out two trees, like I said, and one of them literally has a stocking on it as a tree skirt, which I do like. I'll probably keep it out like that for this year. Um, so I have the collar here and then the tree skirt. So I'll probably use the collar, but who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll use this one for the other one. Maybe I'll use it another year. Um, I think these are new. I don't know if they've had them before, but they're 18 inches, so they're perfect size for that little Christmas tree that they have at Dollar Tree. Alright, just a few more things left, and we're less than 45 minutes, so if you're still here, uh, leave a little Christmas tree emoji for me so I can know if you're still watching, um, and if you like longer videos like this, so hopefully you do, because... We have we got a lot of them lately. Uh, I got some more of these copper. What are they? Copper scores. So my husband uses these for his not instant pot, the um, cast iron skillet. So that's what he uses these for. They're great for that. Um, and make sure you get the three pack because they also have it in a two pack. I always get the three. Um, so yeah, we go through these. They don't last that long. Like once he starts using them for a bit. I got jingle bells in here. You can hear them. All right, last few things. I kind of want to try these lip oils, but I also want to save them for my stocking or advent calendar, so I don't know. I'll think about it. Um, they're lip oils by B Color. 
so I think that's like be pure but instead of skincare it's like their makeup line so it's that same like symbol with the B but it's B color in mini tinted lip oils and like a brown and pinkish mauve color okay I'm gonna try them on please I gotta open them though these are little Eiffel Tower scissors I think they're from Target but they're years old I cannot open this butchering packaging it's fine it's just for myself okay hopefully they're easy to get out of the packaging so they're like really mini I don't know how much is in here 1.2 milliliters each so a total of 0 0.04 fluid ounces so really tiny that little doe foot applicator. Ooh, it's scented. It's like that same chocolatey scent that the other lipsticks had. I don't even know where that lipstick went, but the one I just showed you guys. I don't know if there's a color. I'll kind of put it on my hand, but it's just like a gloss. But they're just tinted, like the name suggests. I've got a tissue. Okay, so that was the brown one, and then I'll just put the pink one over top of it. So same thing, little doe foot. We're just stacking it on. Sorry, my nose itches so bad. I feel like you can see some color stacking those two. Um, yeah, so it's really nice color, and it smells delicious. Um, it is a lip oil, not a lip gloss, so it's not sticky, it's smooth. And now I have a ton of stuff on my lips. But, there you go. So I might split these up and put them in the advent calendar for myself. Because they are definitely small enough. They also had stuff out, um, like facial rollers. I did not get any of those. I have enough. I'm like, I have jade rollers and stuff like that. I do not need more, but they were really cute and mini, so I almost got them. Um, but I, I did not. I'm like, I got enough stuff. Um, these are like, okay, these are new, I believe, at Dollar Tree. They're 100 calories mixed berry toaster strudels, where they're called pastry crisps by Sunbest. So my husband was just talking about like toaster strudels, which is basically what these are, I believe. So hopefully they're good. You get four of them in here. 4.88 ounce pouches. So just under an ounce. And it's in the, um, not scent, shade, taste, flavor, mixed berry. That's the flavor. <laughs> um, they had like an apple one as well as like a blueberry, I think. Um, so just four little packages of these, so hopefully he enjoys those. And I guess they're light sugar, or low in calories, because they're only 100 per serving. And a serving size is two biscuits, as it says. Um, total of 8 grams of sugar and 19 grams of carbs, carbohydrates. So, I don't know, I guess that's light sugar the normal ones um okay these i got in the teaching tree section um they had white and black ones but the white ones were mini um but i wanted to get the black so we could use it on the on the fridge and have them show up because we have a white fridge um so i got the full size ones they are ages three plus so i'm not i'm not using them right now but they will be so much fun and they're just alphabet um magnets and it tells you how many of each letter you get on the back. So three of each of the common letters and then, well, four of A, E, and I and two or one of the less common used, commonly used letters. Um, it's a 68 pack of alphabet magnets. How great is that for teachers or if you have children 
that just want to play on your fridge. I thought that was so cool. Um, I just happened to walk past that aisle today. Okay, and then I got some Tic Tacs again, stocking stuffers, advent calendars, all that stuff. Um, my husband likes the fruit flavored. I like the mint ones, but I just got the fruit for him. Fruit Adventures. You have 50 pieces in here, apparently. Um, lots of stocking stuffers in here. And then this is the last item in this Dollar Tree haul, and we are just under 52 minutes, which is my last Dollar Tree haul. So we're doing good, I guess. Um, I don't know what this is on here. No idea. Maybe it's just part of the packaging. Um, but instead of the ones I normally get, where it's I don't even know how to describe it. It's a doorbell hanger, but with like multiple strings. This is just one string with the bells on it, which is new this year. Uh, and the thing about the other one was, and this one could do it too, I don't know. Um, it could get caught in the door, and then the bells get smashed, and they'll lose the little balls inside. Um, they fall out. So hopefully this one doesn't do that, because my other one from last year was smashed. So... I did get a new one so there's that uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel um, if you made it this far please give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one um, thank you for watching bye